everyone. Welcome back to Anything Creativity Festival. I am Genting and today we're going to learn about how to make your storyline into a comic. So let's get started now. Yep, so this is us. I'm Genting from Anything Creativity Education and we are the creative CCA provider. We have classes like Creative Art, Creative Max, Comic, Animation, Digital Music and Digital Art. And then if you want to learn more about us, you can go to anything.net. So today, we will talk about creative comic, right? You want to make your storyline into a comic. First of all, you must know what is comic. Comic is a visual art form. So basically, comic is express idea with image and combined with text or other visual. So how many types of comic do we have? First is American comic. We call it a Western comic, which is you see from our Avengers, Spider-Man, Captain America, those the Western comic. And the other one is the Japanese manga, like One Piece, Doraemon, Dragon Ball. Yeah, those are the Japanese comic. We call it the Japanese manga. And the other one, is what we call the local comic, which is produced in our land, our own land, Malaysia iconic comic, like from the Datuk Lat, the Kampong Boy. Yeah, so those are the three type of comic. So next thing we talk about what we're gonna do today, right? I have shared with you today we were going to do a comic based on your storyline. So we're going to learn how to make comic from storyline to comic. So that's the thing we're gonna do, learn how to make comic digitally and create a comic script digitally based on the storyline with Aggie. We have a video cover up with how to use Aggie to draw, okay? So in this video, we're not going to uh, cover back how we're going to use Angular. We will straight away use the tool. If you haven't familiar with how to use Angular, you need to go back and watch the Angular. How to use Angular to draw video before you continue here. Okay, okay. Let's carry on. If you have learned how to do how to draw with Angular already, first thing we need to know about the basic of comic. Okay, so what's the basic of comic? Like we have said just now, is a picture. Basic of comic is a picture plus text. Yes, that is the very basic. When you have a picture, you have a text, you have the comic. Okay, that's the basic of it. Comic itself, what is it inside it? They have more things than, than just text and picture. If you want to go deeper, comic is a visual storytelling. Okay, so you must remember that it's a visual storytelling and inside the comic we have character. Like here, you can see we have character. We have action. What are the characters doing? They're riding a bike, right? We have action. We have plot. Plot is like the story. What's the story? They are going to the stadium with their car, maybe, right? So there, there are the plot, there's a storyline, and we have dialogue, yeah, what they are saying. But not necessarily always we have the dialogue in your comic, like this here. It's just use the action, it's just use the character to tell the story yeah, without dialogue. It's fine, okay? But this is the general item element you will find in your comic. Okay, it's a visual storytelling. Is we have comic, if we have character, character have action, and then we have plot, and then we have dialogue inside a comic. Okay, so let's continue. And today I want to share with you a form of composition as well. What we call it the rule of dirt. Okay, the rule of dirt. So this is very good for you to compensate your comic later, okay? I will show you, demo review, how, we, how we're going to use it later. So a rule of that is a composition guide that place your object, your subject in the left or right of an image. 
and leave the others to the more open. Have more open, more space to breathe. Okay? So this is like how we use the rule of the and this is like the format of it, the rule of the, the blue line. Okay? So now I want to show you some example. The rule of the this orange is in the middle of the image. And when we put on the rule of the, then you see how the artist is using it. Yes. Now you can see the rule of the line. The artist have put the orange in the center. Okay, in the middle of the box. Now you can see they have a nine box here. Top tree, medium tree, bottom tree. Okay. And, and then you also have like left side, right side, middle. Okay, so the artist have put the orange in middle, okay, the middle of the third. So that is your, that, that is the choice of the artist and you have this kind of effect. And then now we want to see another example. And this one. This one is like they put the, the subject, the object in the right side. Now you can see the people is landed on this line. Okay, so you keep this line empty. Okay, so just now that one is in the center. Now they are putting it into the right side. Huh? Right side, yeah. And then you see another one. Now this one is on the left side. Okay, left side. They're using the left line, the rule of that. So you keep this one empty. I want you to focus on uh, a point. They got four most interesting point, interested aiming point is the artist and put it into the bird eyes, okay? When we draw or we capture, we always want to put extra, uh, extra what? Extra detail or extra uh, concern, uh, focus on the eyes because the eyes is the window of the soul, soul of the window, okay? So we put the eyes here and in the focus point. In the rule of third, we have four focus points. He has taken out one already. They have three more. Which one? Yes, you have get it right. This, this, and this. The line that intersect will make the focus point there. Okay? So later when you do your comic, you want to place your character or something important, you can choose those four points to put what you want to put. You can put something here, a warm here, or something like he's facing line eye to eye here. Okay, so this is the four most interested point to consider to place your character or object or prop inside your image. Okay, so that's the example of the rule of third. So next one, we talk about storyline to comic, right? So I'm, I'm sure you have your storyline ready, right? You write your story, you write your story, you have your story ready, you have your character ready. Now we want to put it into the comic. So this is a very basic storyline that we have created. Everyone is sitting, is everyone in the sitting room, busy or busy with their own thing, own stuff, right? So this is a basic storyline. So by reading this, they give you information, but not good enough, the information, not complete enough. So next stage, when you got your storyline, the next stage you as an artist, you need to do is to set the tone and the vibe. What is the tone and the vibe? Everyone is in the sitting room, how the tone, how the vibe? They could be happy, they could be sad, they could be angry. Yeah, the tone and the vibe is very important because this sentence is not bringing in any emotion. The emotion, the things that are interesting is bring in with the tone and vibe. Okay? Yeah, remember that. So the first and most important thing is to set your tone and vibe. Okay, so how do I want to set it for this sentence, for this storyline? Lively yet lonely. Okay, so this is the tone I want to set. So what does that mean? It means what I'm see here is that my interpretation is a very happening family 
from the outside, what you see. But all doing their own stuff in the sitting room. So make Lenny feel lonely. Okay. So who is Lenny? That is a character. Okay. So I'm going to show you Lenny now. So that is the, but before that, so I want to recap a bit. That is the tone and what oh, I mean. We want to create a lively yet lonely scene or image to tell this storyline. Okay. So next one. Yes, this is our character. This is what we call the Platter's family. This is all the character will we'll have it in our storyline. And then now we want to do comic on it. Lenny is this little guy. Okay? So he feel lonely. And then this dad, this is mom, sister, brothers, and the besties. His best friend. Okay? His best friend here. Yeah. So from here we got the character. And then we got the storyline. So now next thing is, yep. You can straight away do the sketch. Okay, everyone in the sitting room busy with their own thing. Okay, yes. So that's the sketch. So we have, you can do it on the paper, quickly sketch it out, right? So, and then you can see, if you put down the line, you can see actually Lenny is in the middle, just like the orange just now. Okay, I put it in the middle. So you focus on, on her, it's in here, okay? So that's one of the examples uh, of the sketches from what I have get from the character and the storyline, okay? So moving on, today lesson, the step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sketch, like what we have done, what I have done just now, we do the sketch already. I sketch out based on my storyline and then we will do the framing we draw out how big is this a long panel tall panel box 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 panel yeah how you want to frame it next one you need to add the text like the storyline or the call the dialogue if i want to add on the dialogue right and then we add the picture okay so those one, two, three, four step is also one, two, three, four layer. When later we do it in the egg yolk, in the app, okay? We have four layer here. Different, different element, text, picture, frame, sketch, four. We use different layer to do different element, okay? We got four elements here. Okay, yep. So let's get started. So we shall get start now. So now we are going to draw the comic from the storyline. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it now before we do a recap. Okay. So now we want you to go to Agio. Okay. We go to Agio now. So when you click in or you type in your URL, aggie.io, so you'll get this thing. Okay. So we go to start drawing. Okay, so we have this. Yeah. So now, first thing, since we have learned the rule of the right, double click. Uh, rule of the. Okay, so the first layer, I just use it to do my rule of the. Let's see. Draw a straight line. Hold down shift to draw a straight line. Yeah, we can draw this. Mm, okay, almost like that. It's the rule of third. So next thing, we get the text. Huh? So we can write down the text. Let's see, we add a new layer. Then we double create. So this one will be like a, a VO or storyline that we want to show in the in the comic. So what I can do now is we can get a dark color and then I can write it down. So what we can do, I can yep, write down the, the storyline. Okay, so what you can do. No worry to draw it uh, so big or, or small because we can rearrange it later, okay? 
So we can do everyone. I think it will be too big. So maybe you can zoom in a little bit more. So we can draw smaller a bit. Because of time constraint, I will not finish the line. So I just do it dot dot dot. Okay, everyone is everyone in the sitting room. Dot dot dot. So this will be my story. Okay, this will be my story in my frame. And then what I can do, I can arrange it, transform. Huh? You see, I can move in. Maybe I want to put it here. Or maybe I want to make it smaller a little bit. Yeah, you can I, I can edit it, huh? For sure. Uh, yeah, I can just put it here first. For now, I want to put it here first. If I don't like, I can transform it again later. Okay. So we got the text already. Next one, we go to a new layer. This one, we go to have a sketch first. Sketch, huh? Normally, we will use a blue color to sketch. So from here, I will do a sketch. So I will draw. The living room, remember? Just now it's just like we got a sofa here. This is a sketch, right? It's okay, we go rough with it. Huh? As long as you, you you can get it, get the idea of it, huh? you can get the idea, then it's okay. Not necessarily we use all the things huh? we, we have we have put down the line. Huh? This is just a guideline for you. Okay, and then we have a table here. Uh, one more thing, uh, one more tips. Uh, I would like to use a different color or dark, a different color for different object uh, in a sketch. So you won't confuse later. Okay, so we got uh, something like a living room here. We got a table on the sofa, in front of the sofa. Mm, okay, and then, then we can have the okay, then we can move. So that's a good thing about we do things in different layer. Huh? Okay, so this is a sketch layer we are working on now. And then we can have a lamp here. Okay, just keep it simple a bit. Now we can think about uh, the character, right? So we can use different color for the character. We get a darker blue. So we can differentiate it, right? So first one, Lenny. Okay, we can say uh, Lenny. Lenny is not happy. She is sitting here boring. Right? She's missing. She's missing the old day, old time, right? Uh, not happy. Because the family is busy on their own stuff. So you just sit here. Uh, and then and then we have another one, the brother. The brother also sit here. Do the sketch first, huh? Just sketch it out roughly. Get the idea across. Right? So the brother, something like that. And the brother sleep. Something like that. Snow zing. Oh, like that. Okay. And then one more. The sister. Uh, yeah, the sister is here. So the sister is like watching the handful, uh, studying, or doing YouTube, right? We don't know. Okay. So we have the. Uh, have three characters done and then we have mom so everyone is in the sitting room but busy doing their own stuff right later we just now we say so now we draw the mom here hmm. you should have uh, familiar with your character already so you you are be able to draw draw them quickly and understand the basic shape of them right and then you just say like oh the mom is like Talking with someone on on hand free, right? And then it's like full of expression, right? You can do that. Then yeah, expression. 
And then when you design your character, right? We want to keep it simple, uh, so it's easy for us to do uh, the drawing, easy for us to move them, to do a different kind of pose, right? Yeah, keep things simple. That's, uh, that's my advice. Okay, so this is mom. And then we have a little box here, you see? This place, this space, a little box. So we can draw the dead here, the dead is here. And that, uh, so we are facing here. That is on his handful also. Like just now what we have drawn, right? Our sketches. So we get that here as well. So he's talking to each other, to his business partner, maybe. Uh, and then he's like, wow, oh, so aggressive. Very big motion. Yep, and this one is that. So everyone is busy, okay? Just Lenny. Lenny is feel lonely sitting in front. Huh? So this is the this is the basic sketch. So when you take off the rule of that, uh, so that's how we use the rule of that. We're blocking each other though. The mother is on the left, father is on the right side, and the main character is in the middle. Okay? So I think uh, I'm happy with the with the design and the sketch already. So now we can go with the the real drawing. Okay, go with the real drawing. So now I can go in and add a new one. Outline. Okay, now we can draw the real line. Huh? The real drawing line use something dark okay now we go in now make it change the broad size okay and the outside you can always get back to watch back your character okay or you want to bring them back in so you can look for them for a while ah, so we are there you can go in and look back your character ah, this is the character Okay, so then you go back, watch your character, uh, uh, get back here. Yeah. So continue. Okay, so this could be Lenny. Okay, and then next one can go for his brother. Okay, but the sipping and then the sister you can draw the sister. We can, of course, we can zoom in like those lines you don't want, you can erase E for erase, right? Yep, so we have your sister done, okay? And then we can go for mother. And then we can do the thing here will be better if you put a thing here. So like just now what I'm saying, it's not set in the stone, so you can always edit where you want to put it, the drawing, okay? With this one, uh, we block it a bit better, sorry. Block it. The body is in front of the hand. Then you can look back, how's one look like? Oh, it's round, more round, okay? Let's go more round. You can change the shape, huh? Based on your character, of course, okay? Draw it based on your character. And then you can always check back. Close. Uh, mom, you, Rina, sister. 
I always check back. What I have done. And then now we can go to draw that. Okay. The outline. Okay, and this one, the body. So the sketch is actually a very handy when you think about it. Without the sketch, then you are like no guidance. Eh? So this one, you know where to go. Okay. So now we have our character done, we have the text done. So next one, now you see, what we want to do now is we want to uh, make a more expressive way of background, okay? So what I'm do, I'm going to add uh, another layer for the background. But before that, I think I will color the character first, okay? So for this character, what we do, I will duplicate it. And then the outline will become color. Then I will drag it down. Okay, so this one will be the color. I will put it on, okay? So for here, I will color this guy first. Huh? This is the main character. So what I'm going to do now, color. Rena is a red in color. Then here is white color. Okay. It's not so white now. Huh? Okay, and then one more thing is don't forget that uh they got a texture on it. So you want to do based on your character, huh? Do the texture on it. You can do it in a different layer, okay? Okay, so she's sitting there. So now, next thing is like, how can we bring her out? Okay, make her stand up more, right? How can we do that? So now you can see everyone is colorless. Only he, Lenny, got the color. So that is the that is the trick I'm using now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to color all of them. So make them colorless, huh? so make them colorless, no color first, only Lenny got color, okay? But now let's go to the background, huh? let us go to the background, we we'll fix the background first. Add a new layer, BG, huh? B -S -C -K -G -R -O -M -D, background, okay? So now we're going to do the background, uh, make it fast, in a fast way, what we can do is we just do the shape. Just do the shape of the thing. Maybe you want to do a, a brown color. So what I can do now is based on this sofa, I can make my brush big. It's too many to draw, right? But what if we can try a new way? If you do want to just draw it, you can try this one. Let's saw. What we call this is the lasso tool, lasso tool, okay? So what they do is they will draw the line. Uh, what you can do is that uh, you draw the line of the sofa. And then we color it. Yep, just like that. Then in this way, you can play around with different colors. See, we change a slightly lighter color. Then we do this. Then we can do the G. Okay, so we got the lasso, and then another one we go. Ah, uh, now you can see, like they are sitting in the sofa. Add a new layer, we do the table. New layer, and this one can be in the rename it. Table, okay. And it's the same thing, you use a lasso. A table, maybe you want to do it uh, green. Perhaps you want to make it green, you can. You can any color you like. Huh? And we do a lasso here. 
in the table layer, okay? Uh, make sure you, you didn't accidentally select any lasso pixel, you see? This one cannot be color because we've got a small area you, you lasso it already. So what we can do is we click on any of the shape here, click one time, then we're gone. Then you get back to B, your brush. Then you can do the coloring. So this technique is like we're drawing the thing without the outline. Uh. So we can make things interesting, uh, like you want to differentiate the color, right? You can use a darker, darker green. And you can get back your rest. So you also can hold out Shift key to continue. And then you can color it. One, yes. Just one click, all in. Uh. Okay, the table, you can move the table in front, uh, so in front of, of the character. And then you open back your coach. Uh, now you can see Lenny, the table and the sofa. Okay, so now let's check back our sketch. Well, we still got the lamp pose here, right? You can use that the same thing. You use different technique, right? So the lamp pose, maybe you want to use, follow back the style. You want to use this kind of color. That's all. And then G. Right? And then you can use a wood type of stick. And you can do this. Go to Lasso again. Even though it's been brought by the mom, but it's okay. You can just draw it out. And G, color on this part. Uh, now you have your lamp post ready. Okay? And then, of course, if you want to enhance a bit the background, this is the plot. Huh? This is the plot of it. So you can add another layer. This could be the ground line. Uh, get the ground line done. And then color G. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, of course, you can put it down. Then you can still work on the crown. You can get a lighter color brush. Then you follow back this to create a perspective color line. So it look more interesting. And now you can see the text is under. You cannot see it. So you need to bring it up. Bring up the text. Yep. Bring up the text here. Now you can see the text. Next one, you have the ground, and you also you can add the behind, right? G. If you take out the sketch, then so far what we have created, okay, the character without color, right? So what we can do now is to add some color for your member, for your family member now, okay? from here of course uh talking about the background we can have things more we can have more things to add on maybe the background you can use a lighter green then you can maybe create some kind of like wallpaper the wallpaper is underneath the sofa so it won't affect any of it so next one we can talk about the color for the other member okay so now what we can do is uh, we want to give some we give the basic color for the for the character first huh? or we go to white okay so we can have a because just now we set the tone already it's lively yet too yet lonely right so you need to use a, a different kind of element, like I'm using the color and the lighting to bring up the tone and the white. So it is like everyone is like colorless, even though they are very expressive. Uh, you see this lamppost is in front of it. So what we want to do now is 
Aha, uh -huh, these two guys are together. No worry, what we can do, select. Ah, uh, this is a new trick. Select the lamppost. Okay, use this one. Control X and Control V. Okay, Control X, Control V, then the lamppost. Oh, no, Control X already. You need to create a new layer first. Uh. New layer behind. This is a sofa, right? So, sofa. Rename the layer, so easy for you. Behind the sofa, you add a new layer. Can you rename it? Lamp. Okay. Then you can control V, pause it. Now it's under, it's behind the character, behind the sofa. If you don't like it here, you can move it. Move it where you want, okay? So it'll be here, if you want it here, get back to the place. Okay? Yeah, so pretty good. So this is the lively yet lonely. You see the color in the house, so warm, so lively, but all of them is like colorless. They're doing their own stuff. And this text is uh, not so good, it's dark. So what we can do is under the text, go to the text, we can go to bring the text to the top. And under the text, you can add one new layer. Uh, under the text, uh, so you need to bring it. Then you can name it the text box. Okay, so for what use this text box is you can do it this. Use a close to white color maybe if you want. Okay, everyone in the sitting room dot dot dot. Of course, if you have longer, then you have you need to make your bar longer, right? Okay, so that is it. But one more, I want to emphasize more on the loneliness of Lenny, right? So we get back to this. Look, look back to your this rule of the right. Uh, get back to this line. What I want to do now is I want to really like emphasize them like loneliness, right? Loneliness of her. So what I want to do is I will add under the text, add a new layer. I want to create a light. Lighting effect. So how are we going to do it? Lighting. Light. Light. And then what I do, normally I don't use black color. We use a dark, dark blue. Maybe a dark blue color. So what we'll do? We use this lesser tool. Then we can do a straight line brush. Huh? We'll do a straight line like this. Uh, follow back the what we call that the rule of that you see I separate them separate the main character in in the middle and then all of them is beside right and we have this only here but it's too dark and then it's got this line you can solve it easily just draw another line So this one is too dark, but what we can do, we can lower down the opacity. Ah, lower down. We can still see them, but she's in the middle, lonely, sitting there. Ah, so this is like the, the powerful of the lighting. Huh? So this too, this is too, no, not, don't have a focus point, what we call here. So if we add the lighting, oh, now we know where we want to see. And then one more thing, if you want, you can add one more. So you can darken this, uh, soften, or oh, this one, and brush. Oh, okay, we can do this. We can do something like this. Mm, brush, and then we do. So it is now even. Now it's just strictly focus on our main character only. Okay? So brush. This is like a spotlight hitting on him. And the rest is all dark outside. She's lonely. Of course, you can add one more, add one more layer. Because now it's too sharp, right? You can add some blueness or what? 
this like uh, this one soft and uh, opacity uh, so this is a little bit of blue or blue G uh, okay of course you also can change the blending mode uh, this is about the blending mode screen you can change and test it up color dodge right and then uh, soft light uh, this a little bit blue uh, blue color uh, maybe you want to do a overlay I think soft light is good or oh, color dodge Color dodge look good also. Huh? Color dodge, a little bit of color dodge. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good. And then of course, if you want to even emphasize more, you see the rule of third. That's how we do it. You know, how we use it. If you want to emphasize even more, you can add another layer. Use this dark color again. B brush. And then you can darken this right. darken even darken more yeah so like that and then you can add another layer of the darkness right so it's like focus so we can focus now it's a little bit of blurish so i think i'll keep it this way don't add the blue like. You need to do a test uh, on your color. Uh, yep, I think we're done here. So this is like how we create a scene. Cause later, of course later, what we can do is we take off the rule of the no need this already. That is just a guide for you, okay? Yep. So that is the comic created based on your storyline. You set the tool, you sort the wine. This is what we have now, okay? So next thing, last thing, click here. Ah, drawing setting again, we need to name it, okay? Uh, then uh, you can name it. Uh, if your comic uh, got different panel, maybe you can name it. That's the story name. The platter, the platter, as scene 01, okay? Then you can set it. So next thing, two things you need to export. One is JPEG. You go and JPEG, export the JPEG. And then next one, you will need to export it as layer image. As layer image. Okay, you will need to export it as layer image. Okay, layer image. Huh? So you have different layer image for you to play around to animate it later. Yeah. Okay, so we have done in different layer all the thing, right? So now you can see. Okay, so that is it. That is the comic we have done based on our storyline. So now let's get recap what we have learned so far. Yeah, so there's our character. And we do the sketch. Comic script, step, sketch, frame, text, picture, yeah? And we draw it. Yeah, so now to recap back what we have done so far. The basic of comic picture and text. Okay, what is it inside? Visual storytelling, character, action, plot, structure, and dialogue. Of course, uh, this is the rule of the the rule of the uh, we are using it in the comic as well. And then yeah, when you have your storyline, you need to set your tone and white. That's uh, important. Okay, tone and white. And then again, sketch, comic panel, text, and picture. Yep, that's it for now. And I hope you enjoy the section and learn something meaningful and useful for you. And I can't wait to see your comic. Okay, see you until next time.